Hello, welcome back to my Mario tutorial. Uh, in this episode, we're going to change Mario's costume into the fire flower costume. Like this. Yeah. And that's about all we're going to do. Um, but yeah, uh, we're not actually going to put in the fireballs yet. Like, you can't actually fire yet, but we'll do that in the next tutorial. Uh, but yeah, that's just what we're going to do today, so I'm going to go into your well, thing, your file, uh, and first of all we're just going to set super to 1 to make sure he stays super at start, so we can actually get the fire bar. Um Just cheating a bit there. Um, so obviously it just disappears at the moment, and... I think one thing we could fix is import the sounds so we can actually um like play the sounds when the fire flower comes up. So I'll just find that folder. Okay, I found the folder. So uh we're gonna import uh mushroom appears, which is um this. Uh and also it's not, obviously it's not going to be the mushroom up here, it's going to be the fire flower, but yeah, it's just got that name. Um, what else are we going to need? I think that's all we're going to need, actually. I'll probably power up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if we go into scripts, you can see we have here, when I receive item 1 hit, if super equals 1, then we'll do this. And we just want to set it to that. So it actually works now. We've actually got that sound going up. Yeah, okay. And when Mario when Mario's touching the fire flower, we need to play a sound, so sound, play sound. We'll put it here probably. And be yeah, a power up. There we go, now we've got the sound. And one thing you might be noticing is if you like stand here and then press the green flag, we like get a coin right at the start. And that's basically because Mario, like the script for touching the thing is happening before Mario gets put back to the start. So what we're going to do is put in a little wait time. And I believe, is it in here? I don't think it's in here, I think it's in Mario. It's so confusing where everything is. Uh, yeah, here it is, here it is. So we're actually going to wait one second before we actually go into this loop for like sensing if it's touching the coins. So now if we go over here and then press the green, green flag, so you can see it goes to zero, and we don't get those extra coins at the start. So that's just an annoying bug I thought I'd fix. We have got a few other bug bugs as well, uh, which are like, we can sort of go in the item box, <laughs> but that uh, is such a headache to fix, um, I'm sort of been putting it off, but yeah, we'll get around to it at some point. Uh, so, back to the fire flower, um, we're going to put in, uh, when, where is it? <laughs> that is the question, here. Yeah. Now, if we look at these variables, we have a fire flower and we have a super variable. Uh, and as you can see at the moment, fire flower is one, which we don't want because we want uh, Mario to just not have the fire flower at the start. So we're going to set, um, just put it here, set fire flower to zero at the start. And then, yeah, fire flower zero, super is one, because remember we set that to one at the start for cheating basically <laughs> and now when we get that you can see we, it makes fire flower go to one super still one after that though so if you see here we this is all our costume control and we want to get another if and else statement now this this uh this thing here is going to get very big uh so yeah just be prepared for that now basically what's happening at the moment 
is there's an if and an else, like here and here. If super's one, then it does the like super costumes. Like it does all that. Um otherwise it does all the normal costumes which are not super in there. And within that we've got if on ground equals zero, i.e. If Mario's in the air, then we switch to costume super M jump. Otherwise, if um if the left arrow or right arrow is pressed, then we do this little walking animation, which does, updates every 0 0.1 seconds. Otherwise, we just switch to the neutral standing costume, which is the same for there and there. So what we're going to have to do is do practically do that all again, except we're going to get another if and else, put that above there, and put the super into the else part. So that's very important. And then... We put a one in here, and we get fire flower, and put that in there. So if fire flower is one, which it is, then we're going to basically do this. Uh, put that. Let's not. Let's not put it in there at the moment. Put that back in there, and you can see we've got this big script here. Uh, and instead, we're going to have to import the costumes, aren't we? <laughs> uh, and as a matter of fact, I don't think I have got the... Uh, I, I have, actually. Um, I have got these sprites. I don't think I'm going to go into GIMP and get them again, because um, it just takes a long time. Uh, but yeah, if, if you've watched my previous tutorials, then you should probably know how to do that by now. If you don't, just watch, like, even even the, the tutorial before this, and you'll see how to do it but yeah um just make sure they're all centered and stuff and all that so we're just going to import them and i'll just find the folder so i found the folder and we're just going to import that that and that and by the way save them as uh GIFs because then Scratch imports the transparency as well. If you save it as PNG, it doesn't, which is kind of annoying. Right, so, um, oh, one thing that's probably going to be quite funny to watch is uh, since now we do that, it's not going to change costume at all, it's just going to do that. Yeah, because it's doing this and it's not doing this code here. Well, scripts. Okay. So, and then basically we've just got to change all this to um, the fire version. So where it says super M jump, we're going to change it to fire M jump. And left arrow and right arrow. And we're going to say, instead of if costume equals four, if you remember, for the previous one we had, if it was four, i.e. it was this one, then we wanted to switch to that one. But that's not going to be the same for the fire because... We want to say if it's seven. So if we make that seven, that will detect if the current costume is that, then we want to switch to that. Otherwise, if that if the costume's that, then we want to switch to that. So it, we do the walking animation. Uh so as you can see it was super M2, but we want fire M2. Else we're gonna switch to fire M1. Fire M1. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, that's just like standing still. We're just going to switch to Fire M1. So that should be it, really. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, of course. A bit stupid. Put that in there. <laughs> you need to actually put the script in, otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, there we go. And you can see now Mario is all fired up. <laughs> all fired up. That item box doesn't work. We might do fix that. But yeah, that is about it for this tutorial. Um, just a quick one. In the next part, we'll get the, you know, the actual shooting of the fireballs put in. So thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.